that's why faithfulness is so important. It works best in the difficulties. Mm. It allows us to experience more of God in the difficulties because that's when the promises break through. Mm. And there are little blessings all along the way that represent God's faithfulness. You know, when my wife Katrina was probably four days before she passed away, I was lifting her into bed. She was confused. She hadn't been thinking clearly. She was very weak. Mm. And suddenly she started saying, my gracious master and my God assist me to proclaim, to spread through all the earth abroad the glories of thy name. And she was quoting from Over mm. a Thousand Tongues by Wesley. Mm. And the memory of that has stayed with me now, and I'll never forget that moment. Um, this is why I love the great hymns mm. so very much, because uh, the new music, as wonderful as it is, comes and goes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but the great hymns have encouraged generations, and we sing some of these songs all of our lives. Yeah. And the Lord encourages us by his faithfulness. If we didn't have any distress in life, then we wouldn't be nearly as sensitive to the faithfulness of God. That's true. My devotions this morning in the hotel uh, from James chapter one, count it all joy when you fall into various troubles mm -hmm. because God is allowing those to shape you and to give you perseverance and maturity. And at the moment, we have to stop and remind ourselves of that. Yeah. And then we began to say, oh, God is faithful to me after all. 